Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hooverlugs. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. So we have just about to leave Swansea. We've just left my mum's house. So we're in the car and we're gonna go pick up a Dyson for Ben. So I can't remember which one it is. It's one of the early Dysons with the ball, I think. It is one of the first ones with the ball. So we're off to Merthyr Tidville to go pick up a Dyson, which is quite ironic, actually, that we're going to Merthyr for a Dyson when Merthyr was the uh, one of the home uh, homes of many of the um, Hoover ranges of vacuum cleaners and the Hoovermatics uh, washing machines and stuff where they were made. So it's quite ironic that we go into Merthyr for a Dyson. So we're going to hit the road and I'll speak to you now when we get to Merthyr. Okay, so we've just arrived at, um, at um, Merthyr, at the place to pick up the Dyson, so I'm just going to go in and take a look. There's a couple of whinging dogs in the back. Uh, so, okay, let's go and pick it up and see what it's like. Okay, so I've just gone and picked it up. There it is, the DC-15. He switched it on for me. Um, it, it, it needs cleaning, it needs some repair, but the motor and everything sounded really fine. It had really good suction on it um, in upright mode, you know, when you touch the top. And he laid it back and had a go of it, and it worked okay, the brush roll and everything. I think the belt and stuff needs changing on it, but it's not in bad nick, to be honest. So we'll take a closer look at it when we get home. So we are here in Merthyr, like I said, this is the home of where most of the Hoover products were made. It's a bit sad actually to see it like this. Um, as you just saw in the little videos as we were coming into Merthyr, I'll take some now of the little streets uh, driving around just for your entertainment to actually see a little bit of Merthyr. So I'll put together a little montage now for the next couple of minutes of uh, just driving out and through Merthyr. So I'll see you now. Next stop will be Grantham. See you then.
I didn't get home until later last night, and by the time we put the dogs in and they've unpacked and blah, we were absolutely shattered and ready for bed, so I didn't get to do any more on this. But I do hope you enjoyed the little montage of clips that I put of Merthyr and the trip and wherever. Uh, a bit of nostalgia for the for those people. So it's the next day and we are here in the workshop and I've got the um, DC-15 animal here in front of me. Now I did uh, do a little video call last night with Ben because this is who it's for um, and switched it on and took a look at it and uh, he seems pretty happy with it. I mean to be honest it's not in that bad a condition I have to say once we tried it on it does have some issues with the brush roll um, which I will show you in a minute personally I think this was the same one that I had because I know it was an animal and I know it had an electric brush roll but I can't remember if it was the 15 or not I can't remember I don't think it was I, I genuinely can't remember but this was basically like the first vacuum that I bought when I came back from traveling. So without further ado, let's switch it on. Just so you can hear it from a distance. Okay, let's switch it on. The vacuum itself, the motor, hang on. the motor sounds really, really, really good. It doesn't sound bad in any way whatsoever. It's filthy. It needs new filters. <coughs> it needs cleaning up. Um, the bin needs cleaning. The filter in there needs replacing. It really does just need a really good scrub and brush. But it does seem to work pretty well motor-wise. The issue that it does have, the major issue, is the brush head. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move you guys closer and we'll take a look at what is the problem with this. Okay, so you're perched now a little bit closer and above. If I flip this over, the DC-15, this one has a brush, it has a pedal to release the floor head. Very good if I do this up. Right. This mechanism needs cleaning. It's a bit stiff, it's a bit manky, you can see it just it really just needs cleaning. Uh metal sole plate on this one. Now the underneath of this reminds me of a little bit Kirby-ish to be honest. Four wheels, all in good condition, just need a bit of oil in. The problem is with this brush roll. This part turns and this part doesn't. Let me show you. If I switch it on. This is not connecting into this part properly to make it turn. There's nothing stopping it from turning but it's not turning because of something inside here. I'm not gonna be taking this apart. I'm not gonna be doing anything to it. This is Ben's vacuum cleaner and his project. Um, and I wouldn't um, touch it because, well, he wants to do it, it's his project. Anyway, so that is the issue with the brush roll. Apart from that, I can't see any other physical issues with it. It doesn't have its tools. And it just desperately needs a good cleaning. The bearings that hold the ball on 
they need a good clean up. It, I wouldn't say compared to the 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 the, the, the bald machines of today, this doesn't really have. Um, an amazing turning circle on it compared to the newer ones. Uh, this mechanism needs a bit cleaning because it keeps getting stuck. But uh, it's not as manoeuvrable as the ones today. This is still a bit bulky in my opinion. Uh, not as good. But still, it's part of Dyson's heritage and what he wants, so there we go. So I'm not going to be doing any more to this. This is literally just the pickup video and the first look at it. Ben on his channel, Beta Bar Ben, will be doing his own videos on it. So I'm sure you will see it on there. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick video of picking it up from Mirtha. It's just a very short video today. So there we go. That is the DC-15. I'm sure now you will see it again on Ben's channel, Beta Bar Ben. I'll ask him if he can put a video on it on the before and after and um, he's already bought bits for it to do the repairs to it so you will see it next time in better condition uh, so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i will see you all in the next video bye y'all